hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite wannabe content creator if you're new here my name is ellen and i'm a new youtuber based in canada so some weeks back i actually put up a q a on instagram asking people what they would like to see in my new vlog and the most requested was my skincare routine so to be honest i wasn't going to make this video because i used to feel like my skin isn't perfect like why would i want to show anybody my struggles why would i want to show anybody my imperfect skin but then there's nothing like a perfect skin and on the second thought scrolling through youtube i was checking skincare routine and like skin several skincare routines and i didn't really see anything tailored towards people with acne like me i only saw the, most videos i saw were like how to get the glass skin effect with your skin how to get the shiny glowy and all of that stuff and i know that a lot of people are actually battling acne and they don't know what to do i've been able to get mine under control and i feel like a lot of people still don't know how to do this so end this video i'm trying to keep this video as short as possible i already washed my face off camera so without further ado let's just get right into this video so um i use two cleansers i use this and i use this but what i washed my face with this morning is the CeraVe foaming cleanser and it is for normal to oily skin basically anybody can use it it's very gentle but this is not the king of this vlog at all. This is the king of this vlog. This Panoxio face wash. So it's a, it's an acne foaming wash and it's a 10% benzoyl peroxide wash. There are actually two types of this. There is the one that has 4% benzoyl peroxide and this one has 10%. I feel like this is a bit stronger because I think my skin is quite stubborn. So I feel this works for me better because I've tried the 4% and it didn't really do anything. So like i said the survey is not the king of this vlog this is the king of this vlog because i feel like my skin improved when i incorporated benzoyl peroxide in my routine so i use this at night only because i feel like it is so strong and it is going to increase my skin sensitivity to the sun so i only use this at night when i'm going to bed but i use the survey in the morning and this is my morning routine so here so i started using this Panoxio two years ago. I had a consultation with this popular brand on Instagram, Shop with Tika. People call her Tika for. So she put me on this, and another thing that I'm going to be showing you, like in this vlog, she put me on this, and I would say that this has really helped my acne. This is like my go to anytime. Anytime. And I feel like a lot of mistakes that people make is that they don't put the ingredients that they really need for their acne into their routine they just do anything they don't know what they need let me just put it that way a lot of people don't know that they need this and this benzoyl peroxide is very good for acne it clears existing acne this particular brand though panoxio clears existing acne and helps prevent new breakouts from forming and you can use this for your body if you have acne like acne on your back you can actually use this this is very good it dries your acne off you like two days you start noticing that so after washing my face the next thing i use is my toner so i use two toners and like i said when i was explaining something about my face washes i was i said there's another thing that i use in my routine that i'm going to be mentioning in my in the vlog it is this neutrogena rapid clear toner two in one fight and fade toner Uh, can you see it? Okay, I don't think it was really clear, but I'll be I think everybody knows it So This is another thing. It has salicylic acid in it. My god. This is good for acne If you really if you're someone that you have like active acne like serious one you can add this salicylic acid toner you can use you can combine the two with the panoxyl I would advise you use it at night, Sha. I would advise you use it at night because these two, because salicylic, salicylic acid is an exfoliant. 
and it will increase your skin sensitivity to the sun so you want to use it at night yeah and then this panoxio as your face wash you want to use it at night as well so these two i use them at night and then i moisturize and go to bed that is all i do but that is the only time i use them you can see that i'm almost running out of it because i use it a lot so yeah these two <laughs> These two did the magic for my acne. So I would say that anybody with acne should just incorporate these two in their routine. You can buy any brand that you, you think is good, but salicylic acid toner and a benzoyl peroxide wash is does the magic. That's just it. But then, like, I'm just going to be showing you guys my morning routine. And I just wanted you guys to know that this, these two, I don't know, they are the truth. So... Like I said, I'd rather use this at night because I use this only at night. So this is my morning routine. So I'm showing you guys the, the toner I prefer in the morning. This is the Aswell toner. It's an hydrating toner. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Aquel or Aswell. I don't know. But this is what I use in the morning right after washing my face. So when I wash my face, I do not dry. I mean, I do not use it too well on my face. I rather allow my face air dry because I feel like a lot of people would wipe their butts with their towel and they still use that same towel on their face. I don't think that is something really good. So I would advise that either you use a um, paper towel or get like a, a, another towel for your face or just allow it air dry. But me, I allow mine to air dry. So I go in with this toner and I go right into it after this with my snail mousin from Cosarex. It is very popular on Instagram. Everybody knows it. Is this clear? Yeah. So everybody, I, I, I feel like everybody owns one of these on Instagram. So I just go in with this. So before I use this too, I'm, I just want to explain something. So I feel like if you're battling acne, you should set two goals because here everybody with acne usually have like black spots from the acne trauma so i feel like if you really want to get your acne under i mean treat your acne you should set two goals primary and secondary you should make your primary goal getting your acne under control because if anybody has told you that they can make your acne go away or stop your acne pata pata, big lie you can only manage acne you can only get it under control it doesn't go away. So I already used my um, toner and the snail mousse from Cosarex. So you can see that there's a difference already. So then the next thing I do is I go in with my Good Molecules Discoloration Serum. So like I said earlier, if you're trying to battle acne and hyperpigmentation at the same time, you set two goals, primary and secondary. I've, I think I've already been able to get my acne under control and the only visible things you can see on my face now are my spots, the black spots. And I've been trying to like get them under control, like I mean, fade my black spots. It's going to take a, lot, a longer time because trying to like fade your hyperpigmentation takes hard work and patience and consistency here yeah. so um this brings me to something i was going to say so i used to tell my sister that skin skincare is not a one-way street and the fact that it works for somebody doesn't mean it works for you i see that a lot of people on instagram would see that oh a popular influencer swears by a particular product and then they go ahead and copy it they don't read and make their own research on what they think their skin needs me i already know what my skin needs i already know the things that works for my skin because i made my research and i also spoke to someone that i know that has more information about these things that's shop with Tika. and that is what i'm about to talk about this particular one i see a lot of people that swear by this discoloration serum honestly and i feel like it hasn't really done anything for me. I've not really seen anything that it has done for me. But I'm not going to trash it because, like I said, being consistent, you have to be consistent. 
you can't just because oh in two weeks or in one month you didn't see results you're trashing the product and then good you go into another one i feel like i'm still going to go ahead using this i'm going to continue using this for another until i'm done with this bottle and then if i feel like it didn't really do anything for me then i'll stop it you understand that is what it is supposed to be except you're using organic i've been there i've done i've done organic i have my own story to tell and in two days i was already seeing results honestly in two days i was see, i was glowing everybody was telling me that you're glowing tell us your your what you're doing tell us the secret and all of that but with this topical products you have to be very very consistent and patient so while waiting for my serum to dry in there are other things that i would like you guys to know like i said i already said set realistic goals do not over dry your skin incorporate the active ingredients for your skin concern like mine is acne and i incorporated benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid into it which everybody every other person with acne issues should actually do and then keep it short and simple because like i said about the primary and secondary goals you don't want to do acne and hyperpigmentation at the same time if you've not gotten your acne under control because that will be using too much products in one routine and you could actually retain your skin that is what causes more breakouts for certain people so i feel like that still everything still boils down to the primary and secondary goals do you understand and then acne never goes away be consistent patience is important you have to be extremely patient if you want to see results you have to be very very patient because it doesn't happen in one day it doesn't happen in two days and you have to continue like you have to give it to your whole so yeah so now i'm going in with my moisturizer so this is my favorite moisturizer to be honest it is from cosarex it is the advanced nail 92 all-in-one cream yeah i love it so much i think I, I i love um korean skincare i love this a lot and you want to hydrate moisturize you want to do everything because yes you don't want to do too much but you need to hydrate like hydration is very very important so everything you do on your face you actually want to do on your neck you should not exclude your neck so i'm almost done with the routine and yeah so the last thing the last but not the least and the most important thing is the sunscreen i don't think people talk much about this but because you're black doesn't mean you don't need sunscreen honestly because you feel like oh you're producing enough melanin and you don't need sunscreen if you are using 100k worth of um products and you're not using sunscreen everything you're doing is a waste like it's total waste you're just doing nonsense because at the end of the day you're not protecting your skin some of these ingredients like for hyperpigmentation now they increase your skin sensitivity to the sun and you don't want to protect your skin that is like from frying pan from frying pan to fire that's what it is to me so you not using sunscreen is like just wasting your time and wasting your money and wasting your effort who could don't do anything do you understand so you want to protect your skin and this is the sunscreen i use the black girl sunscreen yeah this one you cannot even deny this glow trust me so and then i go in with my my gloss and that's it that's the last thing So before i end the video i'm just i'm just going to chip in something so a lot of instagram brands like okay let me use my own my own story as an example i there was this time i went to my friend's house and i go into a bathroom and i saw this really nice black soup i loved it i even love the smell like i love the packaging and i'm a sucker for good packaging and then i asked her oh where did you buy this brand i mean this particular soap from and there was you know this time when everybody was crazy about organic skincare like everybody was going crazy this was like 2018 2019 everybody was really crazy about organic skincare and 
she she sent me the brand i went on instagram i sent them a dm i copped mine there was this one that they had for black skin girls i bought it I, I got package I had for my face, for my neck, for my body, for my there was glow oil, there was body water, there was everything. And then I started using this stuff and then in, in like three days. So in like three days, everybody that saw me would say, Ah Ellie, you are glowing, you know, you are fresh, you'll give us the secret and all of that. And then I was so hyped, like I, I continued using this thing with serious energy. Just like a month after, like after starting this particular product, I'm not going to mention their name because I don't want anybody to drag my ass or big. <laughs> so just like a month into using it, I started breaking out. Started as just one, like pimple, two, three, and then my whole face was filled, and it just went crazy. And then there was nothing I did not use. Some people will even see you and start prescribing stuff to you. Oh, try rubbing alcohol. Oh, try this one. Try that. There was nothing I didn't try. But nobody really told me about the ingredients, like the key ingredients that I really needed to like get my acne under control. Nobody. I never even heard of using benzoyl peroxide in my routine or salicylic acid. Nothing like that. I was just going with the vibes and inshallah. And then come 2020. I, that was when I came across the first page and I'll tell you she's the, like the best thing that's happened to me Like to my skincare journey. I'm not where I'm supposed to be yet. My skin is not going anywhere close to being perfect I still have like a lot of like hyperpigmentation and scar. I'm sure you can see but my skin is healthy. I have an healthy skin and Yeah So that brings me to what I was going to say I don't think any skincare product should be tailored to a particular skin tone. I, I don't think it makes any sense because you won't see CeraVe saying, oh, this face wash is for light skinned people or this face wash is for dark skinned people or this moisturizer, moisturizer rather is for light skinned people. It doesn't make any sense. But you see all over Instagram, you see people say, oh, whitenicious glow milk, goat milk whitening cream, three days whitening, whitening soap, like what the hell? So, in my opinion, I don't think a good skincare product should be tailored towards um, any skin tone. Do you understand? Everybody should be able to use the moisturizer I use. Anybody should be able to use my Cosarex Snail Mousin. Anybody should be able to use my hydrating toner. Anybody should be able to use my discoloration serum from Good Molecules. That is what a good skincare product is. But this is not to throw shades on skincare i mean people with organic brands or people that use organic honestly please i beg in the name of god this is not a shade this is just my opinion and shout out to people that are doing actual organic that are not putting dangerous products or dangerous things in their in their in their products shout out to you guys because so anyway that brings me to the end of this video if there's anything i didn't mention or that you would like me to talk about kindly chop it in the comment section and i really hope that someone learned some people i mean some people learned from this video i just hope that this video is helpful and um please don't forget to share send to your friends honestly it might be helping somebody yeah it might be helping someone and um don't forget to subscribe if not subscribed please support this girl yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao!